We're all shiny Charizard prices are holding, but PSA 10 is finally showing signs of price decreases. We're going to take a look at these epic Japanese promos, the Scream promos. This is Pokemart. Hey all, Turtle here and welcome to another episode of Pokemart. We're going to start as always with Hidden Fates. Um, so, Shiny Charizard lowest price currently at TCG Player is 680. So I feel like that the raw grade is still holding very strong. Umbreon 1 and 2, we're going to take a closer look at each of those. So let's just see what's going on for the rest of them. Espeon still upper 90s, which is very impressive. And then wrap up with the rest of the evolutions, um, followed by Lele. Um, so I feel like Lele, Cynthia, Mewtwo kind of like always held about the same price. You know, not too much movement, but then the evolutions just kept going up. And obviously, Chinese Charizard are just a completely different animal. Let's just take a look what else they have on TCG Player. Uh, so low is 680 and then it goes right up to 700 um, You know, we'll, we'll get into like the eBay um, And it actually is a little bit lower, which is interesting Umbreon and wow, Boy, what is this one? Please be missed Okay, so heavy played for $50 and then right up to $100 for the Umbreon We'll look at Umbreon first. So yeah, about 100 for on TCG player and then you can actually pick it up cheaper So these are these are recently sold listings. You can get an Eevee or Eevee was one with one for another 23. But then, you know, 75, not too bad, 90. And, you know, this is kind of interesting. I feel like a lot of times in the past, we've seen that eBay prices were higher than TCG Player. And I have no idea what that means. If I had to venture a guess, it's just that vendors on TCG Player, you know, they're basically sold out of these things. So with what few ones they have remaining, they're just gonna raise the price before they lose in their entire stock. People on eBay probably have an idea of what they're looking to get for it. And, you know, they're just selling one or two copies maybe. Just a guess. Tiny Charizard, so this is buy it now. Current, like this is what is currently available. Uh, BGS 10, 16, interesting. Uh, I'm kind of looking for raw copies. To be honest, at the moment, we'll take a look at PSA in a bit. 650, so slightly ch cheaper than on TCG Player, and you can actually look at the centering. Um, I imagine, you know, if there's like any nicks in the corners or anything, you could probably just easily return, especially if they claim, claim mint. Uh, but the centering, you know, I feel just a straight advantage on eBay, as long as it says you should get the card like as photographed, and as low as 600. For raw copies of Charizard, it's 590, so significantly cheaper on eBay than TCG Player. Let's go to all right. So these are sold listings, and it seems like a lot of the stuff we're seeing is now graded. And we'll get the PSA 10 in a second. This one came with a Cynthia for 685. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, sold listings, best offer accepted 600. So again, much cheaper on eBay. Let's go to PSA 10. Uh, not too long ago, we saw some best offer accepted starting at 2,000. Uh, and while these are still best offer accepted, so we can only guess that, or I'm assuming that means the price is going down though. What they're being listed for is significantly cheaper uh, than what it was before. Is this English? Wow, I feel like, <laughs> as crazy as this sounds, $1,000 for that, that's, in today's prices, that feels pretty good. Uh, but then we're still continuing to go down 1600 best offer accepted. So definitely, uh, it's unclear if we ever hit that 2000 mark. But um, so like, while Charizard is a pretty not it's not a guaranteed 10. So as the the prices get closer between the raw and the graded, um, things are going to get interesting. And but it's clear prices are going down. 1600 1200 wow okay all right sealed um reprints is what like a little over a month away don't buy these for crazy high prices uh again the, my biggest tip is go to target uh, i don't i don't really i haven't really bought anything from walmart especially online go to target.com look up the hidden fates tins and say notify me when these are available Download the app and sign in on the app. You'll get a notification on your phone once they become available closer to end of September, and then you can buy it through there. That's assuming if we don't blow for money on Champion's Path. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna talk about Champion's Path, but I am curious, you know, first few weeks, I'll say first month of Champion's Path release, what will still be on shelves? Is it gonna be Hidden Fates tins or is it gonna be Champion's Path product? 
but uh, yeah, Hidden Fates, oh my gosh, ETB is still going for crazy high prices. Let's see, let's take a look, one last look at the shiny Charizard, so uh, as of August 10th, so pretty um, fresh information, a 3 to 1 ratio between PSA 10 and 9, I imagine most of that is around centering, and if we kind of take a look at the graph, yeah, kind of dipped initially, then, uh, you know, everything, all the insane has been happening the past six plus months of it getting close to 2,000, maybe we crossed the threshold of 2,000, and then now we're riding, we're, you know, we reached the apex and now we're kind of trending back down. Uh, so while I can't say picking up these, you know, in the near term is a great idea, uh, let's just see how low this goes. Uh, not, oh my gosh. And at the beginning of the year, less than $500. Are we going to get that low? I highly doubt it, but, um, you know, this card is, this is still such a new card. There's new reprint waves coming, or at least one more reprint wave. 1,200 tens. That's, that's a lot of tens. All right, let's just check a, a couple other cards. Unbroken Bonds. You know, I feel like I keep seeing postings about, hey, you can buy this booster box of Unbroken Bonds for $200. Like, that's a good deal. Uh, I guess if you have a sealed collection, maybe. But, like, what are we hunting for? The <laughs> Russian Zard is only 130 The Blastoise, oh, I wish I had more of these Blastoises. Down to, or up to 100 And I, I don't know, maybe people make sure they want their Rainbow Dedenes. They don't want the $5 ones from the toolkits. But, uh, yeah, let's just to peek at this Blastoise. Man, $100 Blastoise. I should have more of these. The Dene, yeah, 25 and down to, oh, I, I said five. I meant 330. <laughs> um, so, Dark Display is right around the corner. Eternatus, I feel like it's the one that's going, everyone's going to want to try. Uh, I feel like maybe be patient if you want to try it out, you want to play it. Uh, I think soon, I imagine like the price will be quite high initially for people to try it out and then it'll plunge once this product becomes available. If you want to pick it up on Game Nerds, use the link down below to support this channel. Pick it up for $30. All right, now the reason we still look at Sword and Shield is we're about to be busting a lot of packs of Sword and Shield because of their double pack blisters with one Darkness of Blaze, one Sword and Shield. Uh, one point of view, were, you know, uh, patient you could have gotten these for about 350 for two packs which is awesome and obviously we're gonna be hunting for the gold dogs good old Marnie oh rainbow research and fallout research actually I guess you know eh, that one's not too high uh, but the quick ball is the one I want I would like a play set of secret rare quick balls this thing has been solid at steady at $30 as long as I can remember I'm curious what these new products coming out that will drive it down a little bit. And I don't think we're going to pick up any of these ourselves off the secondary market. Just trying to pull our play set of those. Okay, Japanese promos. You know me, I'm a huge fan of Japanese promos. I've been watching our mail days for ever. You know we pick up a lot of these kind of cards. And we'll start with the Pancho Pikachu. So um, they have, a lot of them have... Some of them just have full art varieties, and then there's obviously these, some of these non-full arts that feature different cards. Uh, let's see, the Rayquaza set. So these are sold listing. So recently sold for a 900, 450 a pop for PSA 10. I'm surprised this one is uh, as low considering how high the Rayquazas went for, but the Charizard just 275 and the shiny one for 650. Oh wait, no, this is Mega Charizard X versus Mega Charizard Y, excuse me. Uh, but then oh, our favorite one is the Mario. So if you listen to our Q&A, favorite full art card got to be the Mario promos. Mario specifically, Luigi a close second. Magic card about 300 and yeah, they do have some other ones, but uh, they don't have like a full. I think if they did a full art Alolan Vulpix, that would have been awesome. I would be, I would definitely be hunting for those. I actually don't think I have this though. I need to pick that up at some point. Raw Shiny Rayquaza 210. Oh, and then 4.5 for the Mega Charizard X. Let's go to Mario again. This is my favorite one. Japanese promo is just like, you know, what? what is the, I'm sure there are a good amount of English promos that are just very sought after, some that were hard to get. And then after you miss the opportunity to pick them up, you know, the price goes up. But I feel like Japanese, the ratio of the Japanese examples of that to English got to be like, I don't know, 20 to 1 or something like that. Uh, let's just see on oh, Pikachu 
Mario Pikachu Full Art PSA 10 Best Offer Accepted from 999. Uh, we do have some copies of this. Uh, they are kind of like off a P we're going to send them PSA. We'll see if we can get a 10. Uh, but one interesting thing. So this is August 2nd. Is the prices of these promos actually a lot of stuff across the board is just still going up at an alarming rate in a matter of what a week price potentially went up as much as like 50 percent um what was this plus 330 so like yeah that's around 50 percent uh 700 not too long ago and then better if we scroll down just you know let's just go towards the bottom of what this thing will show uh for this page PSA 10, 389. No best offer accepted. So 389, less than 400. So price doubled in the past few months. It seems like Japanese promos, they're just. Uh, I wonder if it's people get back into the hobby and then they start with Charizard, things that they're familiar with, uh, like base set and stuff, and then that kind of, then they kind of move down the line, uh, and eventually like people find out about these Japanese promos maybe, and then the prices of those skyrocket. Obviously, a bit of a delay compared to a lot of the other stuff in the market. Uh, last thing we'll take a look at Burning Shadows Charizard. I always like to kind of compare how this is doing with Shiny Charizard. Um, actually though, Burning Shadows, I, we did we do have good evidence. I think they're kind of been restocked at some of the big box stores, Walmart and Target. Uh, so the ETBs are available again uh, if, you, if you can find it. But let's try to find a 10 and what's this going for? 3,500 sold listing from Australia, interesting. So close to 4,000, um, that's crazy. All right, so I wanna talk about the screen promos. They are so cool. If you don't know too much about them, in 2008, late 2018, there was a ex exhibit in Japan featuring Ed Edward Munch, I want to make sure I pronounce that correctly. Uh, the card uh, painting of the screen, and if you did, uh, so the Pokemon did kind of a promotional event with them or with that ex exhibition. And basically, if you purchased two packs around no early November, you got you got to pick between Psyduck, Eevee, or Rowlet. Uh, and this is what the Psyduck looks like. We'll take a look at them all later. And then if you want the Pikachu, you actually had to go to the exhibit. Oh, these ads are all over the place. Pikachu was distributed. Uh, distributed to visitors of the expedition during Pokemon Week, which ran from December 10th to the 16th of 2018. Limit one per person. So uh, Pikachu, probably a lot more popular. And you actually had to go there versus just going to the Pokemon store and buying a couple of packs. And then lastly, Mimikyu. I... My understanding, or based on like what I've seen when this first came out, was, you know, the prices were the three, and then uh, Mimikyu, and then Pikachu, and then quickly like I think the Mimikyu's were gone. So then this one kind of took the top, uh, had the highest price, uh, because you could only pick this up with the kind of like those little mini portfolio things, and like I don't know, I feel like I could have overlooked this very easily. Uh, but then this was the only way to pick it up, and I guess there was just like a good amount fewer of the Mimikyu's than the rest of them. So now this one is much as the highest price. Uh, yeah, only purchase at the exhibition, uh, let's see, the, yeah, the mini card file portfolio, whatever. Okay, well, so let's see how they're doing on eBay. Uh, <laughs> so back in 2018, just to give you an idea, I think it could pick up all three of the ones you get from the Pokemon Center for like, um, $13 each shipped from Japan. I think Pikachu was about 40 and I think Mimikyu was about 30 and then quickly that one shot up really quickly. But uh, fast forward to right now we got individual cards going for maybe 50. Uh, so this is one interesting thing. The sealed ones which I can understand sealed is cooler because you can't reseal it. Uh, so those are fetching higher prices all three of them for 250 best offer accepted. Um, here's why it says FedEx. And so I do have a bunch sealed. Like, in fact, the only ones I have left are sealed ones. Um, the rest are all the ones that are not sealed or off at PSA. But the, I know you can get these things graded as sealed. I don't know too much about it. I couldn't really find any prices. So, you know, the remaining collection I have that is not to be graded is sealed. Uh, maybe I'll end up cracking them. If you know anything about that, let me know in a comment down below. But uh, all right, for the trio, 170, 
sold as that price. This is crazy. The Psyduck PSA 10 for 800. Uh, individual ones for 65, 30 actually, like this is actually a pretty good price. Here's that Mimikyu we're talking about fetching the highest price of 800, still not even graded and it's just in that foil. All you got was one of these uh, Pikachu portfolio things. Uh, then the Pikachu, <laughs> like half the price, 380. That is crazy. All three of them, 310. So these prices are through the roof. You can pick up the whole set for a low price of $1,500. Uh, let's see. This is PSA 9. Let's just see what else we have here. All right. Specifically the Mimikyu. I'm going to find a PSA version. 800. All five. All five. All right. If you want the full set, you could have picked it up for the low price of $3,000. dollars we guessing this is all PSA 10. 26. I just want to find Mimikyu by himself. Oh my gosh. So again, when we're talking about like this stuff is continuing to spike or maybe this is signs of that happening uh, not too long or a month ago, the PSA 10 for $800 for the Mimikyu and most recent like uh, raw one was sold for 800 by itself. Uh, pretty crazy stuff. Let's do the same exercise. Let's just scroll down to the bottom and see what the late. Oh, okay. <laughs> Versus May for 200, less than 200, you could pick up the same card. So, like, in the matter of a few months, the price 4x. Like, what is going on? Uh, whole set 1200. What was it? 3000 earlier. And okay, yes. Best offer accepted for the PSA 10. 399 today it is what did we say 800 i think was the last one yeah it was 800 so just like doubled uh for the psa 10 pretty crazy stuff let's just take a look at the specifics um so the important thing that we want to note here is obviously the price trend but then the ratio between tens and nines and how many total graded i uh, will just count tens and nines i'm going to ignore like the eights and lower so between this is what um just under 800 Rowlets graded and yep look at this spike that's basically what we suspected uh kind of bottomed out uh, oh my psa 10 like 30 dollars 30 dollars for a card that at least when i was picking them up were like in the teens i guess that kind of makes sense but then in the past couple months few months go go up 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 and away Kind of like maybe maybe we're selling around that 150 maybe this is an outlier this 200 dollars psyduck these promos are cool and i guess i could understand this i wonder if this is an influx of people in the hobby and it's just causing this kind of reaction uh psyduck interestingly enough much harder to grade than the route let's just take a look at the ev ev is somewhere in the middle five three versus three three point five to five ratios so I think, yeah, actually the Psyduck, um, sorry, I'm just gonna go back one. I wanna see the Psyduck. I think that was the one that went for uh, 800. Okay, so this is still pretty absurd to me, but this that of the three, this one is the most difficult to grade. Uh, again, 3.5 to five ratio, but still oh, over eight or over 800 of these uh, graded. I wonder if that means just because people know it's hard to grade, so they're gonna keep sending them in. Uh, versus the some of the other ones that just have a friendlier ratio uh, and the prices are reflecting that potentially so what was the kind of like the settling or maybe this is kind of where we're landing around uh 150 getting up to 200 and uh actually this i feel like the rarity of this is only starting to take effect uh up to 400 i'm not sure what this psa 10 if that's a real thing that's quite the deal and let's go on to eevee five five to three ratio ish uh actually this one is fetching the highest price not i guess that's not too surprising um not as easy to grade as the route was rather rowlet but uh somewhere in the middle but it's eevee so it's gonna be a little bit more popular i wonder kind of how this will play out in the near future uh but yeah clearly a huge spike in prices let's go to the heavy hitters the pikachu and actually let's take a look at the grades Ooh, very similar thing it's interesting because you got this through the way you got it was different but the amount graded is very consistent uh still about that 800 and um yep huge well i'm not sure maybe this is oh that's that will consider as an outlier 1500 uh, i could definitely see things settling around five or something like that 
Uh, so, I, I mean, not the best information to work on, but uh, yeah, in the same matter of a couple days, from 280 to 720. So, it's unclear where this thing's gonna lie, but I think we can all agree the prices are going up sharply. And now, last one, the the one you got from that folio, again, the most expensive one, raw, last raw one was sold for $800, only 410s and less than 109s. Uh, so yeah, makes sense. Much fewer of these available, uh, much less, much fewer of them graded, uh, and almost, uh, I guess like, uh, not half, but a little over half compared to the other cards graded, but very, very easy, or seems like the, or the ratio, very good ratio between 10 and 9. And let's take a look. Once again, huge spike, uh, like around 200, <laughs> that was a good deal. Because now we're up to 800, um, an outlier of 15, and then back down to 6. So maybe anywhere between 8 to 600 is going to be what the going rate is right now. Pretty crazy stuff. Um, we'll find out which, what we get for our grades, I don't know, in a year from now. But I'm excited to get those back. And uh, yeah, guys, Japanese promos. Um, if you're just starting to get your feet wet in them, I just feel like one important thing is to, I don't know, just be aware of what's coming out and then if you can pick it up at the start, obviously you get a much better price, uh, to buy into some of these full art promos now is, it's tough. Uh, but, uh, that, this is why I love these things, you know, I think, I feel like this kind of, these spikes, you know, it is, um, I don't think I would start picking them up now, but... You know, it's not that surprising to me, you know, the why I always, I talk about the, the Japanese promos all the time is just because I think they're so unique, so cool, uh, that this kind of, you know, this kind of reaction on the market is not all that surprising, I guess. So that's going to be it for this episode of Pokemart. As always, let me know what your thoughts are down below, especially if you know anything about sealed uh, singles. Miss Laura's piece of grading and how I couldn't, I couldn't even find anything about it. Um, I'm not even sure... I don't not too familiar with PSA, so we'll take. Uh, let me know if you know anything about that, or if you have any other topics for future episodes. Thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll let you uh, talk to you guys next time. Peace.